So if you need to edit an IEP, I can't technically reopen. Most common question I get is, can you reopen the IEP for me? And I technically can't reopen an IEP and you have to amend. So if you need to edit an IEP, you must go through the amendment process, including the IEP amendment PWN, completing that, touching base with your team, talking about the changes you wanna make, talking with the fam, speaking with the family. So you're gonna complete your IEP amendment PWN, determine if a meeting is warranted. I'm gonna close out of this. And then you're gonna go into the most current finalized IEP. click amend and that's how you edit an IEP you do not reopen IEPs you just you amend it you edit it so that the parents have tra a track record of all the edits that go along the way I probably get three to four phone emails tickets something a day about reopening IEPs and I can't you must complete the amendment process to track these changes within Enrich. Because we want, if a parent comes back and they're wondering what's going on, we'll be able to say, oh, remember this IEP amendment PWN? This is in reference to this second version of the IEP. Even if it's the same day, we need we need to keep track of all our edits. We can't just willy-nilly go around and edit IEPs.